Lightning is the electric discharge between oppositely charged regions in the upper atmosphere, within a cloud, or from a cloud to the ground. The following are all cloud-to-ground phenomena. Fork lightning is the most well-known type, occurring as a result of negative charge buildup in the bottom of the cloud and positive charge buildup at the ground. As the positive charge at the ground collects in high enough concentration, it sends out small bolts of ground-to-air lightning called streamers. If the streamers can make contact with the negative charge from the cloud, a wave of electricity propagates up toward the cloud as a bright pulse. Fork lightning tends to branch away from its main bolt, giving it a fork-like appearance. Zigzag lightning is similar to fork lightning. Both occur from the same circumstance, but instead of a single main bolt, this type gets its name from the way it jumps from one pocket of charge to a nearby pocket of charge on its way toward the ground. Ribbon lightning occurs in high winds. If the lightning has multiple return strokes, which is the part of lightning that we see, the wind will blow each stroke away from the previous. The ribbons are the way the eye perceives the strokes when the wind carries the channel sideways. Instead of a form itself, bead lightning is the decaying stage of every strike. As the lightning strike decays, its luminosity becomes fragmented and appears as beads. Meteorologists often refer to this stage as beading out. Bolts from the blue originate in the anvil cloud of the storm and are considered one of the most dangerous forms. This lightning starts at the back of a storm, travels a large distance away from the storm in clear air, and then intercepts the ground up to 25 miles away. These strikes are why it's important to stay indoors or in a lightning safe area for 30 minutes after a storm passes. What people call heat lightning isn't a specific type, but rather describes lightning that is too far away to hear thunder associated with the strike. 